So today we are doing something a little different. Different. I want to break the Maginot as Germany. Now, typical like wisdom would be that essentially this here is on break at negative fifteen percent stats for ten levels. You you have less than zero. There are some ways that we can actually overcome this modifier and actually break through. So I haven't done this. Might not get it today, but. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what the modifier is. So it's negative 15% per level. And with a level 10, that would be uh, 150. So if you were to attack it from one tile, that would be negative 150 stats. Now, there is something, and you may have seen it when I hovered over here. But yeah, attacking from multiple directions will reduce this fort effect. So each level that you attack from, from each level that you support from, or each tile you support from, reduces that value by one. So one level of fort or 15%. So if we were to attack from here and then support from here, instead of 150, it would be 135. And then another one, you can get down to 120. And because this tile in particular has five, this alone can reduce that by five levels. So this level 10 fort effectively becomes a level five just from attacking from multiple directions. There is another thing that we have in the general stats on Manstein in particular, because he has engineer, you can actually give uh, this general fortress buster. Now, any general can get engineer. You just have to attack forts or over rivers. So you just have to grind this. But Germany actually gets a, a general that has fort buster. This gives you the command ability siege artillery. Whenever we get some CP, we can select this. Um, and then this guy would be able to get that down by another 15%, which is good. So I'll, just, I'll just select them there. Another thing we can do is with support companies, or sorry, with uh, support engineer companies, they also have a bonus here for 10%. So we're down to level four, and then this would bring us to three and an extra 5%. Now, if we get the 1939 tech, even with, uh, I'll come back to the flame companies here, even just with the thing, they, this is another 10%. So we're it's sitting around somewhere around like two, two levels uh, with this. And then in addition to this, if we build a heavy flame tank or medium uh, or light, they get different values that can be that can reduce here. So 25% from the heavies, we get 20 from the mediums, and we get a 10 from the lights. So we could build a heavy flame tank, and this is probably the one situation where you might want to pick a heavy flame tank over a medium. They are a bit more expensive, but we would get that extra 5%. So what are we sitting at here? 20, 45, uh, 50, uh, 15 from the general, so that's 60. And then from the directions, one, two, three, four, five, that's 75. So we're, we're sitting nearly at the point where it would be like a level one. And then in addition to this, when you're doing siege, the siege ability, you actually damage the fort more. I think it's double. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look this up, but I think it's actually maybe double the damage. But when you attack a fort, you will do, there is a chance to damage it. So you can get that tile, this tile in particular, effectively to zero, just with those things. Now it is also a hill tile. So we attack with tanks. We will take a 20% modifier. And I could show you that here. So uh, where's hills? Hills, 10% on, on on medium chassis. So maybe it actually isn't 20, but it will be, we will have a train modifier. Uh, yeah, it's 20 with heavy tanks. We will have a, uh, a negative modifier from, uh, we will build a medium. So, but we can actually grind hill fighter and this will actually negate a 10% of that. So with hill fighter, we'll ha not have that debuff. And then this is effectively a level one or a level zero. And uh, with our planning bonus, with the train modifier reduced, with maybe Intel advantage, we, we can actually get some really decent stats with attacking this one here. The next tile here, this is going to be a bit of a problem. So instead of having five, one, two, three, four, five, we have two, which is, is a little bit unfortunate. So when you attack here, you, we can take this tile fairly easily. And then the next one here is going to be two. So we're actually only reducing that by 15% uh, from this instead of the 75. So we're hitting actually a negative modifier of 60, which can, we can overcome, but this tile here will probably be the most difficult. The next one here, this is a uh, planes tile, but, and you can also hit it from three. So. I, uh, my prediction would be that we could actually easily take this tile here, but not so much this one. This one will give us a little bit of trouble. Now, in terms of this challenge, what I want to do is have all of the damage come from come, come from the, the units itself. So th what that means is I'm not we're not going to use cast today. Uh, with cast, essentially, you probably could just get air supremacy and then just cast the units off the tiles. But I want to show you that you can actually overcome any fort modifier. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a standard Germany playthrough, just like a basic historical. Um, I'm going to make some tank divisions, like tank divisions for 1939. 
We're going to go through and we're going to train up Manstein with our volunteers. And we're just going to try to get some good modifiers. And, and that, that's essentially it. So pop it up. All right. So we were at 54 and now seven. So it's a level 10 fort. Keep in mind, guys, this is a level 10 fort. And look at my stats. A slight reduction from the terrain because we do have a hill fighter guy. Uh, and you know what? We haven't even used our thing. Watch this. Boom. Okay. I'm going to tick over one hour. Where's the forts? Where's the forts, guys? Where's the forts? We're asking, uh, are we sure this is the match? No, the level 10, not even damaged. Where are the forts? Where are they, guys? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are probably gonna quickly win this. All right, so like I said, this will be the tile that'll be tricky, this one here. I think I think we're gonna win this without the support of the railway gun. All right, are, they gonna, are you gonna reinforce this tile at all? We're busting through the Maginot. All right. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy here and half this. So this is the next, the next tile is the difficult one. And I've got six tanks in the background. Come up, come on. Okay, let's go. All right, and we're nearly full planning. Okay, and then let's do it. Well, we still have the siege ability. Okay, so wait, hold on. I'm not seeing the fort either. Where's the fort? Guys, where's the... We're exceeding combat with that's that's a problem but where's the fort multiple combat okay so they are attacking us here but this one's not a multiple combat Hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right i'll let them i'll let them do that okay cool so we got one all right okay so we're uh, not exceeding combat with this time didn't get a good roll can we get a good tactic come on guys get a good tactic rolling a good one nice didn't get countered it was shock okay once night is over we're just pushing through, pushing through the Maginot, like butter. Oh. <laughs> Pull these guys off. Just so I don't like I don't like the way these lines look, unfortunately. Uh, so I go. Uh, You should be assigned to this line. Uh, what is the dynamics of those tanks? They're they're not even crazy tanks. Attack 300 soft attack. Attack. This is it. It's just a 34 width. Nothing crazy. I could I I didn't even uh, mean to have it at 30 or four. I was gonna bring them down. I just had them 34 for China. This is what I was gonna do. That's it. Nothing crazy. I'll bring them down for the. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna touch them because I were they're in combat or. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, no, we can do them. We're just getting attacked. That's fine. I don't care. And then uh, it's just really basic. Really basic, guys. So we have a heavy flame. Nothing to it. Just a, a chonker for the, the modifier. And then this is it. No, that's not our, well, That's not where we're building. Where's our... Oh, I didn't even change... Yes, I did. I swear I changed the gun. We're... That's actually... Okay. Well, anyways, we were supposed to be doing this guy. That's it. I, I don't even have that, I guess. Yeah. That explains why I didn't need tungst to buy tungsten. <laughs> But yeah, this is what the, the stats look like. There's just nothing, nothing good. It's just, it's all modifiers. It's all the modifiers. Okay, and then I think we're gonna go three and one. And then I think I can attack from this angle too. Yeah. All right, so we're slightly over combat. That's fine. Cutting through like butter, butter. It just works. Yeah, it's the modifiers that are winning us this battle. Like, look at this. Commander skill, planning, attack bonus. We rolled a good uh, attack there. Good experience. And then we're reducing their stats with the bombardment only by 10%. Uh, but it doesn't matter. And and we red air. Dude, we're fighting under red air. Uh, okay. And then Mets, Mets is the supply hub. If we take Mets, we've, we've won. And I still have six tanks in the background here. Done. Look at that. Just like butter. Yeah. And then we can just widen this up a little bit. And then pour through. Magino? Magino what? Magin what? Huh? <laughs> Imagine yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah boy. I mean, I could probably snake, honestly. I could probably snake to Paris. Let's see. Uh, can we? Can we snake to Paris? <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. It didn't take us too long to get through. Good generals, modifiers. Uh, you know, just attacking, like being a little bit strategic about how you attack, and you can easily break through the Maginot line.